Alrighty Hosses, in this video I want to start talking to you guys about events. Now, right now our components are really boring to be quite honest because they can only do one thing and that is render some HTML out to the user. Display some HTML on the page, pretty bland if you ask me. Now, we started learning React because we thought that we were going to be able to create these cool, dynamic, changing components that the user can interact with. Well, if you ever want to do that, then you need to learn how to use events. So an event is just something that your component can do. Well, right now it can render stuff out on the screen, but let's make it do something else. So above your render function, I'm just going to make a simple function called do something. Because all this is going to do is, let's say that instead of just displaying stuff on the screen, let's have a link in these components as well. And whenever you click it, it'll just alert like this little blob of text or it'll just do something really basic so write do something or whatever you're gonna name your function and then after that write function and then make sure you have a comma because you wanna make sure to separate this function from this function and inside here you can write uh, anything you wanna do so what do we want our component to do well we're just gonna make it alert something out on the screen and we'll just make it alert this text right here so let me just steal it from down in here hit copy and let me write like a uh, uh, the text displaying is this text right there so we can actually delete this since we don't want to display it twice so now our component is going to render this this is what it's going to display and whenever we call this do something function it's going to display this alert but now we actually have to make a link because we're gonna say whenever they click this link that's when we want to call this function so I'm just gonna write a and let me just write the text in here first so the link in this component will just say like click me something like that and now on click on click what we can say is this instead of a property that we're gonna stick in this curly brace we're gonna say this components do something and I'm too lazy to type it so I'm just gonna copy it so whenever we click this link called the do something function and just so make sure it doesn't link to anything I'm just gonna make a dead link and there we go so now whenever we display this component it's going to display the heading just like before and it's also going to display a link that says click me so let's check it out so here's the heading of each component and whenever I click it it's going to call do something which just pops up some text on the screen so here is the child element or definition for Bucky and here it is for Emily so that's the basics of events basically our components they aren't just bland HTML that we're going to display to the user. They can also have some functionality. So in this example, we saw some really simple function. In other words, they displayed some alert box. But later on, our events are going to get you know more useful and a lot more fun. So for now, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.